Good morning. It's Friday morning and I am about to roll out my, or rather shape my bagels. They rose very nicely. The little bit of extra yeast definitely helped. So it's sourdough and a little bit of yeast. So I'm going to shape them, cut them, and or cut them, shape them with my little helper here and let them rise for another hour or so. So today is grocery day and recently I've been doing two different grocery deliveries because usually I shop at Aldi, but then Aldi doesn't have everything I need. So I have to wind up supplementing with Walmart to get kind of the things that they don't carry. So, I mean, some of these things they do have at, at Aldi, but I prefer the quality of different brands. Some things like shampoo I can't really get there and like the toilet paper we like and the you know laundry detergent so I'm gonna put all these things away and the main thing I needed because I knew my Aldi order was gonna be much bigger I needed heavy cream for my coffee so I figured I'll place this one early get all these things put it away and then I'm just about to place my Aldi order and that will come a little later I'm also making and bringing a meal today to Someone nice and local, so that's that's a good thing. So I wanted to get one of these like salad kits. I like to send those. And arugula, just plain arugula, I can't get at Aldi. They only have like a mix with baby spinach. So garbage bags, just a few, just a few bits and bobs. It is a super gloomy and rainy October morning, Friday morning, but I think the rain is supposed to be done so that we can enjoy the evening activities today. I think the sun is supposed to come out at least for a little bit, dry things up. So as long as it's not currently raining, I keep checking to see if this event is gonna get canceled, but as long as it's not currently raining at like five, six, we should be good. So goals for the day, I just put away those groceries. Um, I placed my Aldi order, that should come and I should put that away. And I already cleaned out the fridge yesterday. I like to kind of do that in preparation for grocery day so that all the leftover containers and anything that's, you know, we're not going to eat is cleared out so that I can restock. And then of course we have schooling to do. And I think Lyra has to finish up her pumpkin that she made. She painted hers so we had to wait for it to dry so she could put on like the finishing touches. And I think I might just do like a crock pot meal again today just to have that going and have something easy for dinner because we're gonna have to eat like a little bit earlier than normal because we'll have to bring our pumpkins to set them up. And you put your name down, you get a little tag and you tag your pumpkin. Anyways, boys are yelling at each other. So I'm gonna go <laughs> get to them and get to some schooling. All right, that was one minute. Now you gotta flip them over. Just flip them over. Good, do the other one. Good, then we'll do another minute. One minute. So after that minute, we're gonna put them on here and then we can bake them. Okay, I got white chicken chili going in the crock pot. It's very simple. It's just chicken and chicken broth and seasonings and some salsa and onions. I am out of garlic, so that is coming with my order, which is being shopped right now. And at the end, you put in some cream cheese, some heavy cream, and some cheese. So very cheesy and delicious. I've never tried this recipe before, so we'll see how it turns out, but that's gonna be going all day long. Bagels are just about done. I have like 30 seconds left. I did cover them in foil because I was worried they were browning too much, but I didn't want them to be doughy inside. So we'll see how those turn out. And I'm about to empty the dishwasher, just doing, getting the morning going. My bagels are done. I think they turned out really, really good this time. So we're gonna sit down and do breakfast. All right, so I was helping my daughter with her math and also kind of bouncing back and forth doing my Bible study. So that worked out. I pretty much got that totally done. And then now I'm kind of working with Luke on his pre-K, still doing C. His art activity was to cut a piece of celery, which also starts with C, and stamp out C's onto there. So we let that dry and then we cut that out and we glue it to construction paper and we're building an alphabet, sort of like memory keepsake. And then that was the art activity and then we're doing this shoe puzzle, which is working on spatial awareness and I guess sizing. So I just took a piece of cardboard from today's grocery delivery that I was about to recycle and we gathered some shoes and he's gonna try to match which shoe goes where? Something for babies. <laughs> Is it a little too easy for you? Yes, it's too easy. 
Well, well some of them are tricky because the shoes are very similar sized. They are all baby stuff. Yeah, too easy. I knew it was coming. <laughs> I knew it was coming. Taking my devious breath. It's just about four now. So we are all pretty much done with school, wrapped up with that. Did laundry, I just have one load in the dryer. Now I'm working on a dinner that I'm bringing to a lady from our church. There's been a lot of, a lot of needs this month, which I mean, I'm happy to help in some small way. She is a diabetic though, so she had kind of very specific requests for the meal. She didn't want pretty much any carbs or sugar, which I thought, huh, that's actually my specialty. So I'm making her a meatloaf, which I use beef and pork and eggs, and then just like onion and garlic and things like that. And then to bind it, I usually use a little bit of coconut flour because that she didn't have any nut allergies or anything like that. So that's a good binder that is not breadcrumbs or oats or anything like that. And then I'm gonna make her roasted radishes, which are a fantastic potato alternative that I love personally. So they're gonna roast together in the oven. This will probably take a little bit longer, so I'm gonna keep an eye on these and take them out when they are done. And then I got her that salad kit. So this should take me, I don't know, probably like 50 minutes for the meatloaf to be done, which is pretty much the exact time that we are going to be leaving, and she's close by, so I can drop that off, and then we can go to the pumpkin event. Well, we'll probably eat dinner before, hmm. Yeah, we have to fit in dinner for ourselves at some point. So we're gonna eat. I actually wound up putting some corn in my crock pot with the um, the chili, and I just have to put in, that's got another hour and 40 minutes, which is fine. I'm gonna put in the other ingredients when we get closer to that time. I've also been working on descaling my Keurig because the light was blinking, so I just run it through with vinegar, a full carafe, and then this is just the water that I'm running through. Ew! Ew, what is Giant that? Giant is a bottle. Gross. Ew! Why is it so big? Yeah, that's pretty nasty. Those. So I was just finishing up washing all the dishes and things from making this dinner, and I was listening to Lisa from Farmhouse on Boone's vi most recent video about her kitchen kind of refresh and it definitely inspired me to switch things up in my kitchen. So as you know, if you've seen my kitchen before, I usually have four of these canisters. The extra one is here. I usually have them on this wall and I've had them there for six years, the entire time we've been here. And I just thought, why not? Why not switch things up? So. I moved them here, which meant I couldn't fit all four because it just looked too cramped and one would have to be like outside of those corbels. So I think I prefer just the look of it and the oats is probably the thing we use the least. So I'm totally fine with just keeping that in the pantry. That's not a big deal. So I really like how that looks, which meant that I moved the crock pot to this wall, which I definitely have been using a lot more now that we're heading, you know, now that we're back in school and heading into the winter, I think I'll use it more. So normally my fruit bowls I keep there and then the crock pot would sit in front and this area would just get kind of cluttered. So I kind of like it over here. Now that I have a much cuter crock pot, I'm happy to keep it out. This side pretty much is the same. We just have our coffee maker and kettle and then usually like the water bottles and any leftover food I kind of tuck over there, but that's not there all the time. So I don't know. I'm gonna just live with this for a little bit and see how I feel about it. I really like that. I like how that looks. I think it's cute. I'm just, I don't know if I'm crazy about this side, but we'll see. I'll live with it. I also just made some peanut butter. You just take a full canister, like a full bottle of peanuts, and I just put it in there, turn it on, and let it go. So I'm gonna refill my peanut butter container. I'm not even gonna bother washing it out because we'll, we will literally go through it in about a week. This is how Luke's pumpkin turned out. I don't think I showed you with the 
hair done. So that looks really cute and it's got some scars on the side there and on that side. And then we have one more that's going to be painted and that will be done. That's good. You should do it now because it needs time to dry because we're going to have to transport it very soon. So I'm just going to put the peanut butter away and wash that out. Move that into a bag, I guess. And then I guess I have to store that canister. I don't love that idea because I don't want to hold on to things I'm not using. But again, it might just be temporary. All right, so here's how the chili turned out. It's really good and serving with avocado. I put cilantro on my grocery order, but they did not get it for me. That would have been the perfect touch. And then here's the meatloaf and the radishes. I just grated a little Havarti on top. And I'm just gonna kind of fold this foil over and that'll be like the cover. Hopefully it'll make it all the way across. And then the Caesar salad. It's just a single woman. You wanna sit up there? It's just a single woman, I think, and her adult <laughs> son. So, you know, they didn't need like a huge dinner. So that is what we are bringing in like right now. <laughs> All right, we are rushing out the door to bring this dinner. And I did remember to bring some candles to put in the pumpkins and I have my lighter in my pocket. So we are gonna go and head out.
year we go to this pumpkin event. I am seriously so impressed by people's creativity and the pumpkins that they come up with. So definitely let me know which one was your favorite. We went through at the end to see who won because they put honorable mention awards on all of them, the ones that didn't place. And then we were just looking at the ones that got first, second, and third, which there were multiples that got first, second, and third. So I don't really know how they do their judging. But there was only one that I noticed that was the People's Choice Award. So I don't know if there were multiples of that. And that went to the burger, which was definitely one of my favorites. I think that's just such a cute idea. So just such a fun night. We absolutely love going to that. It's just so fun and like, it's just this cute old town and we love it. And the kids got ice cream. It was actually pretty nice out. So it was very pleasant to be outside. But it is supposed to possibly rain tomorrow and we are supposed to go hiking in the morning. <laughs> so I'm still waiting and checking my email to see if it gets postponed or canceled or what's gonna happen or tell us definitely that it's happening. But as of now, I'm planning to go, me and the girls. So that's another adventure for tomorrow. But for tonight, I'm just going to get this crock pot. I'm gonna possibly just put the whole crock pot with the lid in my fridge if I have space, which I don't know if I will, but I could really just put it right back in the crock pot and warm it up. It was very, very good. So that could be lunch for tomorrow. We'll see. I don't really know what all exactly is gonna happen tomorrow because Dan is also going to my parents to help with the wine yet again. Um, it's just, that's how October usually is. They just need a lot of hands on deck to get that done. So I don't know how long he's gonna be there, if he's gonna be done by the time I'm done. Someone is blowing up my phone, but that is gonna be it for today's vlog. Tomorrow is has enough worries of its own, so we will deal with that then. So I'm gonna sign off here. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.